That's game encapsulates the excitement, swagger, and energy of the NBA. It's a bold declaration understood by insiders and casual fans alike that the bar has been raised. When it comes to the game of basketball and culture itself, the NBA is always moving forward. That's game is all about capturing the league's most dynamic moments on and off the court. Whether it's through moments of iconic gameplay or giving voice to its community of players and fans, The NBA is always pushing new boundaries in athleticism, style, ideas, and more. The story of Luka playing in Slovenia, that's game. Steph's last second win of the three-point contest, that's game. Signing a fan's jersey, that's game. Donating 3,000 meals to Houston during their crisis, that's game. Russell Westbrook making the cover of GQ, that's game. Setting the stage for the next generation at a basketball clinic. That's game. The road to the NBA Finals is on. Don't miss a moment. What's up, Undisputed listeners? It's your boy, Shea Sharp. I've got great news. I'm a finalist for a Shorty Award. Go vote for your boy and make sure I bring this award home. Thank you. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for making Club Shea Shea a success. Welcome to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm your host, Jenny Taft. This podcast is a condensed version of today's episode of Undisputed, handpicked with the best segments and discussions. Skip, Shannon, let's go. So the Packers did not tweak Aaron Rodgers' contract last week, meaning that while the QB got paid a nearly $7 million roster bonus, it also made it easier for Green Bay to move on from Rodgers in the 2022 or 2023 seasons. It also signals that the reigning MVP didn't get the contract extension he's been apparently looking for, and it led to reports that Rodgers wants assurances from the team that he won't be a lame duck quarterback this season. How about that? Shannon, will this be Rodgers last year in Green Bay? If I just don't know how you just move on from a guy that just won the MVP convincingly. 48 touchdowns, four interceptions. Yep. Took your team to -to back-to-back NFC Championship games, although he didn't play particularly well in all those games. I just don't understand how you do that. Um, Do you believe Jordan loves, Jordan loves, excuse me, give you a better opportunity of stepping, taking that next step, which is ultimately getting to a Super Bowl, does he give you a better chance at that than Aaron Rodgers? Skip, Aaron Rodgers is not looking to retire. Guys don't throw 48 touchdowns one year and then all of a sudden say, you know what, I think I'm good and just walks away. He's still upset that you took Jordan Love because Jordan Love, he didn't help you last year. He's not going to help you this year. You could have gotten somebody that could have helped only one side or the other that could have contributed. You can find anybody to throw practice, uh, to throw, you know, do skeleton and throw practice squad stuff. Yeah. But... That's not what Jordan Love is not helping your football team win football games. And there's really assurances. Skip, that's not the kind of business the NFL is. They might have its sponsors, Progressive Mm. and State Farm, that offer insurance. Mm. But assurances, that's not what the league is. No. The league is today. Can you help me win today? We'll discuss tomorrow, tomorrow. Mm. But I'm not giving you assurances. And I know that's what he wants. He wants to say, okay. Y'all really can get up off me after this next season yep. and, and got no bonus money. So I'd be a little dead of money on the cap. And he's like, you know, show me that I'm your guy. You keep telling me I'm going to be here for a long time. Drafted that guy last year, which mm. left me on shaky ground. So he wants another, you know, $50, $60 million, Skip, mm. next two years and signing, bo- you know, signing bonus, prorate that out. That way he knows you're not getting up off of Aaron Rodgers, Skip. You give him $60, $70 million in a two-year deal, because I think the last thing, he got $60 million, $64 million the first year of the deal. You give a guy that kind of money, you're not moving on after two years. So for me, for what, for like the last five years, there's been this contentious relationship that we've seen play out, Skip, that's more in public than what the Brady situation, because Skip, we didn't really know the Brady situation until Seth Wickersham he wrote did. that story. 2017. Did 2017, mm-hmm. Skip. We didn't really know what was brewing behind mm-hmm. the scenes. Nope. This has played out in public for it the has. better part of three or four years. It has. And so it's going to have to come to a head sooner or later, Skip. Mm. But Aaron, you were the Jordan Love, you once Jordan Love about a decade he ago. Was. They Absolutely had a They so. had a guy that was a three-time MVP. They did. And they took a quarterback, even though you failed to him, they traded up to get this one. 
you now the roles have reversed. Yep. You're now the three-time MVP that they drafted a quarterback to replace you with. And it took Aaron Rodgers three years to finally win that job. Yeah. Mel Kuyper reported that they completely rebuilt his delivery after they took him with the 24th overall because he fell all the way from potentially one, one. to 24. And he played for Jeff Tedford at Cal. I, I even watched Aaron in his junior year against USC get yanked from a game because he was playing so, so poorly. Mm -hmm. But the Packers did not love his, his delivery, and they rebuilt it. I'm not sure exactly what the technical <laughs> tweaks what, were. What they rebuilt, huh? Because you think he's got the greatest arm talent ever. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm about to say is going to anger my friend Lil Wayne, so I'm about to get an angry text, and I apologize uh -oh. in advance for that. Uh-oh. But the Green Bay Packers don't just have Aaron Rodgers. They have an Aaron Rodgers problem because he is now, once again, holding them hostage because he had a bounce back year unlike maybe any I have <laughs> ever seen. Yeah, because you said he should have been comeback player of the year. He, he should have been no, because he, he got called out. He got put on notice by his own team, this multiple MVP winner, and they took a quarterback. They drafted up to take a quarterback in the first round, a very unproven commodity. And to this moment, I still don't know what Jordan Love is. I have no idea. I did not watch him in college. I've seen the YouTube highlights. I've seen various video on TV <laughs> occasionally. But I have not seen him play a single snap because there was no preseason because of the pandemic. Right. So it wasn't like we got four shots of of. Jordan Love, we said, well, in that third preseason game, he looked pretty, no, right. I don't know. I don't know who he is. And all the reports out of Green Bay is he didn't exactly light up practice, but who knows, right? Skip, Aaron needs to be careful because you remember the guy that kept trying to hold him hostage about he didn't want to come to training camp, he didn't want to come okay. to mini camp, right. and he kept holding out until they finally said, you know what, Aaron, you're in. Rogers got to be careful, Skip. Okay. They, he keep trying to hold him hostage. They say, you know what? Jordan Love, you're in. All right. My issue with Aaron Rodgers is the same it's always been. He is still more style than substance. He can just take over regular seasons the way I've rarely seen anybody. Maybe nobody has taken over the way 48 to 4. And he said, <laughs> okay, watch this. Right. Runaway MVP. Hands down unanimous MVP. No, no issue there. And then what happened? Right. He's now 1 and 4 in NFC Championship games. So wait a second, in Championship games, AFC and NFC, Tom Brady is 10 and one, and you're one and four? So Brady has won nine more championship 10 games. 10 and three. 10 to what? 10 and three. 10 and three? Yeah. I thought it was 10 and four. No, remember he lost He lost twice to Peyton in Denver, and he, he lost to, to Peyton now, three times. I looked it up today, it was four, but. Remember he lost to Peyton three. both times in Denver, okay. and he lost when Peyton beat him in Indy. So that's it, three? That's it. Yeah, he okay, lost three well, championship games. Okay, well, I'll take 10 and that. 3. 10 and 3 is this good. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, good. I, I had it at 10 and 4, but, but that, that Wait, means but... that Aaron's lost one more. And Tom. No, I'm saying Tom. Tom is 10 and 3 in championship games. Yes, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. So, so he has one, one fewer loss no. than, than Aaron, but he's won 10 to 1. Yeah. 10 to 1? Yeah, not a few wins. You're kidding me. Yeah. And then Aaron Rodgers, all time postseason, he's 11 and 9. Right. But the 11 counts. Four in a row yeah. on the roll to the bowl, right. right? Yeah. And that was 10 years ago. Yes. Okay. So what is he, seven and eight since then? And remember, his seven all have some flaws in them because it was Joe Webb. It was the Des Catch game. It was Kirk Cousins. It was the Miami boat trip, you know, where Odell took his receiver. Well, man, Skip, don't stop that. Your guy beat David Garrard mm. on the way to a, a championship, mm. so stop doing that. And I didn't finish with Mason crossbars to intergalactic <laughs> field goals. That I, I don't even know how either one of them went over the crossbar, but they did. What? And then just this year, he, he beat the Rams when Jared Goff was forced into the game with with screws, two screws in his throwing thumb, and was Aaron Donald not healthy? I don't think he was healthy. No, I don't, he I, I'm not even sure he played in the but, game. But Adam Vinatieri kicked, kicked, kicked a, okay, a game well, winning field goal, Skip, again, in Antarctica. I just gave you six out of seven. He hasn't then, played well, Skip. I'm okay, not here to defend that. Look at the losses. He lost to Eli at home. He lost to Kaepernick at home. 
that game at Seattle, that's the worst playoff game he's ever played, and that was the championship. Well, your guy lost there. to Eli twice. Okay, well, I got it. But this well, Eli, is big seven game. Seven and eight. My guy is 34 and 11 yes. in the playoffs. 34 and 11? So my guy has 23 more playoff wins than your guy, and my guy has only two more playoff losses. Well, how about this? Let's, let's make this short story. Let's make this long story short. Mm -hmm. Do you believe the Packers should move on from Aaron Rodgers? Well, I, again, the X factor for me is Jordan Love. I don't know anything about it. Hell, you didn't know That's anything why, about Brett Favre either. Okay. I mean, about, about Aaron Rodgers when he took well, over Brett. Well, at least I'd watched him. I, I knew what he could well, he, do. Because he came, he came in that Dallas game. And you remember, Skip, he came in for Dallas game. I think it was like a Thursday night, a Monday night mm -hmm. game. And he ended up getting hurt. He yeah, hurt before he was a yeah, starter. Before yeah. he was yeah, a starter, I got yeah. it. I got it. But I watched him a lot at Cal, so yeah. I, I had a sense of what he was. And I was making a case versus Alex Smith that I could see taking him number right. one overall. I didn't think he'd have to wait three years. Right. <clears throat> but is Jordan Love Aaron Rodgers? I doubt it. No, you didn't. I, I seriously <laughs> doubt it. I could no. be wrong, but I'm, I'm no. shooting in the dark on but, Jordan Love. Skip, I don't know, know anything about know how it. How that goes. Any quarterback taken in the fifth or the sixth round, what do they say? Tom Brady. Aaron Rodgers had to sit. Oh, that's what they, oh, he, he going to be the okay. next, bro, right. you talk about historically great, all-time great play, okay. players. But when you needed Aaron Rodgers the most. He, he didn't come through. He did not come through. He didn't through. come through, Skip. I don't make no excuses. You, you had it first and goal at the eight. You're yes. down 31 to 23 with 222 left in the game. And you have three straight throws if we could see bang, bang, bang. He goes, here we go. To Lazard is the first one. It's kind of to nobody. I don't know. He just, I'm, I'm not even sure where he's throwing that one. This is to Devontae. And it looks like he had him. And no, he just he overthrew him. Eh. Then this is also to Devontae on third down. And from the eight. Devontae. Yeah, run! Devontae. Yeah. I thought he had it. Okay. Did he make a bad choice? Yes, yes, he did. Yes. This is all the money on the table versus Tom Brady. And you finally got a home NFC Championship game that you had dreamed of having. Well, it's just, it, it, this is not good enough, and then they had to take the field goal, okay? It's just not good enough. You went 4 of 11 in the fourth quarter, and you wound up losing. Aaron, you took the field this. goal, and you lost 31 to 26. Run that. Okay? I, I got it. But that's been repeat behavior on his part. In the biggest moments, he's not Tom Brady. Right. So you're held hostage. Can you win Super Bowls with, with Aaron Rodgers? I, I don't think so. Not as he's advancing in age. And do I think he wants to play into his 40s? Do we can. I don't. So another, yeah, he want to play into the skip. I mean, you ain't trying to turn down $38, $40 million. That's why Tom, I mean, Tom Brady's taking $25 million, But yep. everybody else, if you notice, Aaron has never given a discount. Most quarterbacks don't give discount. So I believe you still can win with him. But for whatever reason, he hasn't, the thing that Tom can do, is that Tom can understand a diagnosis situation and says, okay, this is the kind of game that needs to be played. Yep. It's not a 400-yard mm -hmm. passing day for me. It's a 100 and no turnover passing day for me. Could be. But Aaron has to understand. Aaron has to, he has to win that game, Skip. Run the ball. You got them. Everybody's tucked inside. You pump, and then you race JPP, and you race Dominican two to the pylon. And if they catch you, so be it. Okay. But you got that, that's the play that you got to make. Not the, the two guys draped on Devontae. That's why he is one and four in championship games. You got to make those plays. Yeah. And that's the difference. It comes down to guys make, guys make plays, big time guys. Tom Brady, more times than not, have made the big throw, have uh, uh, avoided the big mistake in those situations. Yep. MVP, 11 and nine in the postseason. It, MVP, 11 and nine. He's still okay. MVP. He got three of them. He's going to win the Super Bowl, too, okay. before it's all said and done. Well, is he? Yeah. You guarantee that? No. Let's give up Next either. question. No mercy. The brand new Fox Sports app is a finalist for the 13th annual Shorty Awards. I love it. I do not put. I do not download any apps. I simply do not. I'm an old man. I don't know how to use my phone. I don't like apps. I don't like clutter. But the Fox Sports app is so sleek. It has everything you would ever want. So uh, I got it on my phone. You should have it too. You should also vote for us for the Shorty Awards. You can vote in the description below. Vote once a day. Vote for the Fox Sports app. We are finalists. We need this. Do it, America. No mercy. That's game encapsulates the excitement, swagger, and energy of the NBA. It's a bold declaration understood by insiders and casual fans alike that the bar has been raised. When it comes to the game of basketball and culture itself, the NBA is always moving forward. That's game is all about capturing the league's most dynamic moments, 
on and off the court. Whether it's through moments of iconic gameplay or giving voice to its community of players and fans, the NBA is always pushing new boundaries in athleticism, style, ideas, and more. The story of Luka playing in Slovenia, that's game. Steph's last second win of the three-point contest, that's game. Signing a fan's jersey, that's game. Donating 3,000 meals to Houston during their crisis, that's game. Russell Westbrook making the cover of GQ, that's game. Setting the stage for the next generation at a basketball clinic, that's game. The road to the NBA Finals is on. Don't miss a moment. Like your privacy, tired of being tracked by ads for sites you just visited? You ever connect to public Wi-Fi at the coffee shop or airport and worry what information others may have access to? Sounds like you could use a VPN. Say hello to Malwarebytes. They are cyber protection for everyone. What's that mean? In short, Malwarebytes is complete cyber protection that keeps all your devices and personal info safe from threats. So you can shop, play, and connect online without a second thought. And their privacy VPN takes your security to the next level. It's a super fast next gen VPN that protects your online privacy and secures your Wi Fi. It helps you become invisible to trackers, eavesdroppers, and cyber criminals. So your private information, like passwords, bank details, or even that surprise birthday gift, stays private. Start your free trial of Malwarebytes privacy today at malwarebytes.com slash VPN. With Vroom, you can buy a car entirely online and have it delivered straight to you, so you never have to go to a dealership again. Instead of going to a dealership, you can buy a car from home, a park, or even as you listen to this podcast, literally anywhere else. With Vroom, you can browse thousands of cars in one place, so you don't have to spend your weekend driving out to a million different dealerships. You don't have to haggle or negotiate with pushy salesman. When you sell your car on Vroom, you get an offer in minutes, so you don't have to waste time at a dealership anymore. Vroom is entirely online, so next time you need to buy a car, just grab your phone, go to Vroom.com, and check out thousands of great cars. Hey, Undisputed listeners, it's Charlotte Wilder here to tell you about my new podcast with Mark Titus called The People Sports Podcast. It comes out every Thursday, and Mark and I take one of the big stories of the week, and then we go off on tangents you never saw coming. This might mean that we start talking about the Dodgers winning the World Series and end up wondering if Knicks fans deserve happiness, or begin with LeBron's greatness and end up drafting our ultimate beer league softball team made up of old athletes. Whatever it is, the only rule of the show is that it has to be fun and funny, because these days we can all use as many laughs as we can get. So check it out wherever you get your podcasts and come down weird sports rabbit holes with us. We can't wait to have you. No mercy. So get this, the Eagles are bringing in veteran QB and former Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco, presumably as their backup this season. Flacco has played for the Broncos and the Jets since leaving the Ravens two seasons ago, and now he will be returning to his hometown area to provide some mentoring to Philly's new franchise QB, Jalen Hurts. So Shannon, how do you explain this move by the Eagles? Some things, sometimes, Kip, you have to offer something without explanation. Mm. But it, Joe Flacco can say, I'm one of the only men other than Peyton Manning to beat Tom Brady in the championship game. Mm. You're right. Tom Brady is 10 and 4 in championship games. Mm. Lost okay. three to Peyton Manning okay. and one to Joe Flacco. Okay, got you it. got you called Joe Fluco. I do. Skip. And I'm about to call him that again. <laughs> Skip, let's, <laughs> we keep it buck on. Let's be all the way real. Mm. Joe Flacco has really never been a good regular season quarterback. Joe Flacco gets hot in the playoffs and he lights you up. Joe Flacco hadn't been good since he had that Super Bowl run. That was in 2012. Yep. So here we are in 2021. Mm -hmm. Joe Flacco has not been good in the regular season since then. Hell, he wasn't good in the regular season before then. But he could get in the playoffs. I don't know what a, somebody casts a spell over him. Something comes over him. But he gets in the playoffs. And it doesn't matter if it's Brady. It didn't matter if it was Tom, if it was Peyton Manning. Nope. He did not care. Mm -mm. But in the regular season, you like, dude, he had some of the worst QBRs. A one, a three, a five. And you're like, what the hell? Does he care? Does he know where he is? But for whatever reason, come playoff time, you see Joe Cool, you see a different you guy. Do. I don't I don't get that. What, 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 the, hell, what the hell they gonna get out of Joe Flacco? Mm. I guess give a, a veteran presence. But don't you want a guy that if something would have happened to the starter, he can come in and win your game? Yep. 
Did, did, did they not see Joe Flacco in, in Denver? They did not see Joe Flacco with the Jets. I guess they ain't watch that tape. They just said, oh, that's Joe Flacco. He got a Super Bowl. Skip Joe Flacco hadn't been good in a very, very long time. I don't know if he's ever been. He's never been great. He had great stretches. But to say, have you ever been a top 10 quarterback, top 15 quarterback? No. I, I, I give up. I don't know what Philly. I don't know what the hell Philly, Harry Roseman, Mr. Lord, I don't know what you guys are doing, but you're making a mess. On that, I agree. Back to Fluco. <laughs> you realize that run through those playoffs after the 2012 season was arguably the greatest playoff run ever. Yes. I know Nick Foles had one, but this was even deeper and longer and better because Joe Fluco from the regular season turned into, I don't know, just Joe Montana. Joe, Joe Montana, <laughs> I guess. He's beyond Joe Montana because he goes through Peyton first, and then he goes through... I'm, I'm sorry, he went through Andrew, Andrew Luck, Luck and then Peyton and then Tom Brady and then Colin Kaepernick in mm -hmm. the Super Bowl. In those four games, he was 11 touchdowns to no interceptions. Yes. That's impossibly that's great. His QBR average for those four games was 84. That's, that's scaled 0 to 100. Trust me, it's off the charts <laughs> great. And yet... In the regular seasons, I just uh, last night I went through every regular season and did his average QBR for regular seasons. It's 55 yes. because he's fluco. And off that playoff <laughs> run, off beating Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers in the Super Bowl, he became the highest paid player, not quarterback, player in the National Football yes. League. What? That's fluco. Yes. Way to go, Joe Lint, his agent. He's a good guy, and, and he did a great job yes. for him. But... It's just hard to live up to that. I used to have legendary battles on ESPN with my friend Terrell Suggs because he, he had to stand by him. I knew in, in, in Suggs' heart of hearts, he knew he's like, I don't know. But as he used to call him, Cool Joe in the playoffs, well, Cool Joe would emerge. Right. And he could, he could win you a championship. Right. And if, if we could just see, I'll, I'll never forget the Hale Fluco at Denver against your Broncos and Peyton Manning. And it's... They're, they're down 35 to 28. This is the third, what was it, third and three from the 30. <laughs> what? Jacoby Jones, do you remember this? Yeah. It, it was impossible. How do you do that to tie it and send it to overtime? I mean, the defense was horrible. Yes. You can't give that up. You get no. deep as the deepest. Okay. And, and then he goes to Foxborough against Belichick's vaunted Vaunta defense, mm -hmm. and here he is at Foxborough. Watch this stuff. He's just, he's flawless Flacco. That's Anquan Bolden, who was right. just beasting through the whole hey, Skip, hey, Remember, he's a Lee Evans drop from beating yeah, Tom was, Brady again in was. Foxborough. I agree. <laughs> there it is again to Anquan Bolden. And then he goes to the Super Bowl and has a QBR of 90 uh, uh, <laughs> against uh, the 49ers, 49ers, and he has three touchdowns and no interceptions. Yes. Yeah. And was the Super Bowl MVP. Okay. So here's what I think Philly got hung up on. He did have his moments last year for the Jets, and the Jets were a bad football team because you always say Sam Darnold has no help. Right. Well, well Fluco had the same no help, right. right? But remember that one Monday night game late in the year against New England? Mm -hmm. It was at Jets, but he goes 18 and 25 for 262 with three touchdowns. If we could see those, because th this is th this is cool, Joe. Th this is some good stuff here. I think they saw this tape and said he still got game left. Oh, he still got a big yeah. arm, Skip. He yeah. still can throw the ball down the field. Yeah, it's a big touchdowns. They ended up losing the game. Oh, that was wide open. That was pretty easy. Because I think he threw a pick. Yeah, he threw one, one interception. They lost 30 to 27. But the point is, I don't believe those Eagles are that sold on my guy, Jalen Hurts. No. I just don't, you're not that sold. Mm -mm. I am, but they're not. No. So I think they're still a little bit naked at that position. Like they, they don't have any fallback. They, right. they, don't, they, they didn't have a plan B. You believe they take a quarterback? I just told you when we were going through the, the Mac Jones Derby, you know, you, are they a candidate? Yes, they are. But I thought Mr. Lurie told them not to bring somebody else in to challenge him I for the position. thought so. But who, who has final say? Hey, he Mr. Or Howie, <laughs> Howie Roseman. I don't know. Mr. Lurie has final say in his but team. they've been a mess. They're still a mess, to your point, because I think there's some thought within the organization. Joe Flacco is now 36 years of age. This will be his 14th NFL season. 
But I think, look, think about what they just did. Jalen Hurts runs one offense, Joe Flacco quite another. Totally different. So it's not like a complimentary right. quarterback where he has the same skill set right. as Jalen right. does. Because Jalen is definitely going to use his legs. Right. He's a good thrower. I never said he was a great thrower. Right. And you may run more RPOs with Jalen Hurst than you do Joe Flacco. Okay. But I thought, but Skip, I thought you didn't want to run two offenses. Remember that was the excuse that they gave us about Cap? I was you would have to run did. two offenses. Well, this is this is oh. dramatically two offenses. Oh, yeah. This is night and day <laughs> two is. offenses. So I looked at the numbers of Fluco last year for the Jets versus Jalen Hurts. They both started four games. Yeah. Flacco goes 0 and 4. Jalen goes 1 and 3. But it's 55% completion for Flacco, 52 for Jalen. So yeah. it's kind of similar. And the yards are pretty close, 864 to 919. It's almost like they, it was touchdowns for Flacco, 6 to 3 interceptions. And Jalen was 5 to 3. So it's almost like they have identical stats. And I think Howie Roseman's saying, I, I'm, I'm going to bring him in. He grew up an Eagles fan right. in the same sort right. of neighborhood, mm -hmm. you know, nearby. Right. And. I think they think well, now we got our safety net. If we don't love Jalen, if we don't love the way he plays in the preseason, maybe we could go with Flacco. That's well, what I believe they're doing. Well, they say when you 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 your parachute is skipped, they say you make sure you check your own equipment. Yep. Well, if that's your safety net, you better make sure you check that thing again because mm -hmm. there's a hole. There's a hole in it, and you think you're jumping out, you're gonna hit the dirt. Because mm -hmm. if you think Joe Flacco gonna take y'all anywhere, if, if if something happened to Jalen Hurts and he gonna keep y'all afloat, yep. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, as a Cowboy fan, I am happy. I bet you are happy. Yeah. <laughs> why, Eagles, why? That's but guess, what I but ask. guess what? You don't need to worry about them. It's yep. another team that's going to change their name, and there's another team mm. with the judge. Mm. The judge. <laughs> oh, here he comes fit his the Cowboys judge. the third place in the division. <laughs> okay. Oh, so are you Good still yeah, the judge. Eagles? Are you yeah. fine with the Eagles, so Shannon, the, or are you moving on? I'm done with the Eagles. They, done? They, 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 they did walk into them back. Mm. You can't do walk into them like that and stick. I'm, I'm going to stick around. Mm. Can't do that. Moving on. All right. Well, it's Good. been said. Good to know. I moved on a long time ago. Right. No mercy. The under-23 men's national soccer team continue their fight for a spot in the Summer Olympics as they take on Mexico, CONCACAF men's Olympic qualifying tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. So the Warriors are currently in ninth place in a loaded Western Conference, but that's not stopping Draymond Green from being confident as ever. This past weekend, Draymond raised eyebrows when he talked about where he ranks as a defender all time. Uh, take a listen here for yourself. I think I'm the best defender to ever play this game. 100%. That's my opinion. I also think I view the game a lot differently than most people view the game. You know, when I look at all the facets that make up the defensive side of the ball, I think I am great in every facet that makes up that side of the ball. So I think I'm the best defender to ever play in the NBA. I stand by that. I'll put myself up against anyone. Well, you got to love the confidence. Uh, Shannon, does Draymond have a case? Yeah, and he should be thrown in jail. They should put, put a case, they should have put a case on his butt for saying that out loud. Mm. Skip Dray, Draymond Green is not a top twenty defender, all a, time, all yeah. time. Yeah, and uh, Skip and I, the guys that I got in front of Draymond, I I didn't put uh, Mr. Russell, Bill Russell. I didn't put Havlicek. I didn't put Clyde Frazier because I didn't see them play. You didn't put Bill Russell. I didn't put him because I didn't you, see. You got to just do it on reputation, on legend. Skip, go let ahead. Me, here's a. Is he better than Hakeem Olajuwon, David Robinson, Dwight Howard, Dikembe Mutombo, Tim Duncan, and Ben Wallace? No. Okay, what, let's go forwards. Dennis Rodman, Kawhi Leonard, Scottie Pippen, Kevin Garnett, Bobby Jones. He better than any of those. I can't believe you put Bobby Jones in there. I remember Bobby, right, Bobby thank Jones. Thank you. Was, <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go guards. Mm -hmm. Is he better than Michael Jordan, Gary Payton, Kobe Bryant, Sidney Moncrief, Michael Cooper, Bruce Bowen, Alvin Robinson, or Tony Allen? So which one of those guys, Draymond Green, is better than? That's 19 guys. You got 19 there? That's 19. Okay. And I left off Mr. Russell. I left off Havlicek. I left off Clyde Frazier. And he says he's the greatest all time? Hmm. But Draymond on Flocker. He ain't even smoking that good stuff out here. He on Flocker. He crazy, crazy. Here's what I think is going on with Draymond. It's the same thing that infected Steve Kerr the other night. <laughs> it's spoiled rotten syndrome where... You dominated for so long as a franchise. You, you were such a dynasty that all of a sudden, when you fell back to earth and there's no more KD and for now there's no Clay, right. and you're just another pretty good team, yes. 
and Draymond's just another pretty good player. Right. You can't stand it anymore. Your, your pride is rubbed raw. Don't you remember me? Remember what I was? Right. Remember that series in 2016 when I got suspended and everybody said I was the glue of the team and they right. missed me so dearly in game five back right. in Oracle? Right. Okay? They did miss him. Yes. But does that make him top 20 all time? No. no. To your point, I... I think I can go to 25 real, <laughs> for, for, pretty easily. Well, see, you saw, you saw, you probably saw, okay. I know you saw John Hamlet taking Clyde Frazier uh, play. I, I didn't, okay. but they were better than he was. I've seen a lot of Draymond Green, and there was a reason that he was the fifth pick in the second round, not in the first round, right. but in the second round. He's not an explosive athlete. He is highly skilled, and I think what he was trying to say in the clip we just saw, he does it with his mind even more than he does his body because he tries to be in the right place at right. the right time. Right. And I give him high marks for that. But as far as dominating a game defensively, <laughs> again, <laughs> you, you're not even in the same breath. Let's, let's just start with this fact. He has won one defensive player right. of the year, just one. Okay, let's start with the fact that Dikembe and Ben Wallace won four. Right. So right there, I, I don't, you put Dikembe in? I put Dikembe in, yeah. Good. Okay, so that's four, so you know, no. No. Dwight Howard, all-time great, won three of these awards. Consecutive. Okay. Now let's let's go to two-time winners. We got Hakeem that you put in. Did you put Kawhi in? I put Kawhi in. Thank you. Alonzo Morning won two of these. I didn't put, I didn't forgot, put him in. I forgot Morning. Okay. He won two. Rudy Gobert has won two. Sidney Moncrief won two. Yeah, I put him one in there. two. Yes, with Milwaukee, I remember Sidney Moncrief. Mark Eaton won two defensive players. I didn't put year. him in there. And Mark Eaton's like 7 4. He so, was, okay. yes. So it's, it's hard to argue with 7 4 because he just dominated. He, did. he just blocked everything right. he wanted to throw up in right. the lane. Okay, now we go back to your list. And let's start with the guy who took first exception, who is Tony Allen. I just want people to remember, Kobe Bryant always said, my toughest defender was right. Tony Allen. That's good enough for me. That's all you need. <laughs> That's good enough Case for me. Case closed. Next question. Right. I know Tony Allen. I used to watch him very closely. All he cared about was playing defense. Yes. Offense was just an afterthought. Right. And he wasn't very good at offense, but he was all-time great at getting up in you. Mm -hmm. And another player that was right out of the same mold, or maybe he made the mold, was Michael Cooper for the Lakers. Yes! Dude, listen, he, he's way beyond Draymond. As, as a perimeter defender, well, they, they tell the legendary stories about when they brought in Kobe when he was a 17-year-old right. to work him out. Jerry West right. took him to the YMCA in Inglewood for a little private workout, and Michael Cooper had just retired, and he brought Michael in just to torment and terrorize this kid. And you know what happened? Right. It went the other way until Michael Cooper said, I can't take it anymore. Well, that, that's how much Jerry West thought of Michael Cooper. Okay, so then Bill Russell, listen, <laughs> what, what, what he did to Wilt Chamberlain, we know the Wilt numbers, right? right. They're, they're ridiculous numbers. Mm -hmm. They're so off the charts that you can't even fathom that he could average that many points and that many rebounds, right? right. right? Bill Russell terrorized him mm -hmm. when they met head to head. Just terrorized him, owned him yeah. psychologically and physically. You, you listen to the guy that, that, that tormented your bulls. Dennis, okay. Is he better than Dennis Rodman? No, and by the way, I, I left him out. He won two. Yes! Two defensive players of the year. Okay, now back to the bulls I covered in 1998. I definitely give you Scottie Pippen as all-time great, top 20. But listen, Michael Jordan, top 20. He's in my yes. top 10. Yes. I don't know if people understand how he just annihilated guards on defense right. where he just took people right. out of the game where you couldn't get the ball across half court against Jordan or Pippen. For a guy to play to be that involved defensively and give you 30 on a nightly basis, we don't see that, Skip. Normally guys that are really good defensively, okay. they're challenged offensively. All right. And that's what Jordan could give you. Skip, Gary Payton, is he better than, is Draymond better than Gary Payton? No. He was called the glove for, for a reason. For a reason. He gave, what's Draymond's nickname? <laughs> I don't know.
Draymond. I mean, but Tombo, they, they, but Tombo had the finger wave. They still do it now for Geico. They're yeah. still showing the Geico. They banned it. Skip, you can't do that in the guy's face okay. now. Okay, you didn't mention Tim Duncan. You mentioned okay. Kevin Garnett. Okay, well, I was about to get to my Spurs because David Robinson and Tim Duncan, way more valuable on defense than Draymond, who's about six, what do we give him, seven maybe? Yeah. Six, 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 seven. I, I don't know. Skip, I get sorry. confidence, but this is delusion. Okay. Did you put Kevin Garnett on? Yeah, that? I got Kevin. Okay, I got KG. You. I got a ticket. Wanted to make sure, and then I'm making sure we didn't lose anybody here. You put Kobe in there, right? I put Kobe in there, yes. Okay. I put LeBron James yeah. ab above Draymond. Yeah. Listen, I know LeBron's now in year 18, but but when he was in those first 10 years I purposely the league, left him out because I didn't want people to say, you just put Draymond. No, put no I'll, I'll put in him there. in. I'll put him in because he was first team all defense. What about Bruce Bowen? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a gadget guy who could. Do, he, All he, he did he, was play defense. You talk yeah, about I, I know Bruce very well, and and he was a little bit of a gray area defender. He looked dirty he, at the time. He, he he had to get in your head as yeah. well as up in you. Yeah. You know, right? Um, I don't know. That's a close call for me. I'm taking Alvin Robertson over him. Yeah, he was special. See, special, but like, people don't remember. Like I, yeah. I only went with guys that I saw play. I didn't see okay. Havlicek play. I didn't see Mr. Russell play, and I didn't see Clyde Frazier. These guys that I saw play, I've seen Draymond play. Draymond Green is not <laughs> Draymond Green is not a top 20 defender. All right. I don't care what he said. It's his opinion. <sighs> I'll throw one more name in there, a guy we have occasionally on the show, and I hope to have him on sometime in the very near future, and that is Ron Artest. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure what I name didn't. he's going by right now. Skip, but I, I'm I forgot Ron about Artest. him, Skip. I didn't put him on there. Hey, in his day, in his time, he was so physical and yes. just nasty on defense yes. because he's such a huge human being. Yes. He's so athletic and explosive that, that he, he was even better on defense than he was on right. offense. And there was that one year in Indiana when I thought he was making a run at MVP yep. and he was doing it on both ends of the floor better than Draymond. Well, now what? I, I've lost track. I, I'm up to at least 25. Yeah. It's good. And he's you're like, saying your best? No, he said he's the greatest all time. That's what I'm he saying. Didn't say, he could have said, you know what? I believe I'm a top 10 or I'm a top 20 defender all time. And then we could have a case where like, okay, let's see where you are. But to say you're the greatest all time and you're not best... I, I defy you to find one person that's in the NBA, any of the general managers. Let's go ask Jerry West. Because Jerry West will remember all of them. And ask him if, if Draymond Green, a better defender than anybody that, that we have on my list or your list, he's going to say, absolutely not. You're not better than... Oh, that hurts. He's not even... He, is, he, is he a better defender right now than Rudy Gobert? No! <laughs> that's laughable. You just made me LOL. No, you're not yeah. better than Rudy Gobert. And, and what exactly does Draymond do? Do you ever see him say, I, I got him no. and I'm going to take him out of the game? I get Skip. I get Skip. He, he'll, he can steal the ball. But Draymond ain't guarding no one through five. No. And dom dominate like Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan average, never averaged less than two blocks. He averaged three for a career. Robinson averaged three blocks for a career. Elijah Wan averaged one, almost two steals for a center for a career. The man had a quadruple double. The NBA took it back. He went and got another one two days later. Mm -hmm. Come on, Draymond. I get you have confidence. Well, you know what, Skip? I don't care what anybody say. I'm the richest man in the world. <laughs> and can't nobody tell me otherwise. Okay. That's my opinion. Well, you can live in your own delusion. <laughs> That's my so opinion. Want. Okay. Well, come on, Draymond. Just say, you know what? I feel I'm still a top defender. In all the NBA, I feel I'm one of the best defenders of all time. We can debate that one of the best. Okay, okay, he does have a defensive player of the year. He's been, but Skip, a lot of these guys have more defensive first teams than, than uh, Draymond been in the league. To my eye, Draymond is a better help defender yes. than a primary yes. defender. So he's like a lane patroller. Where right. He, he anticipates all-time great. I give right. you that. I, I got to be here before you right. get there. I got to help. I, I got to... I, I got to make it happen and in, in, in stay, stay connected on defense. Right. He's really good at that. Right. But that's not special. Right. I mean, think about it. Elijah Wan and, and, and David Robinson Skip, they're smack dab in each other's career. They got to guard each other. Yep. <laughs> you got, and that's what that had to really the big man back then. Had him and, and Ewing and Morning and Shaq. And imagine, trying to, imagine Draymond trying to guard Shaq in his prime. What do you think <laughs> of happen, Skip? <laughs> Uh, another joke. <laughs> well, so so Draymond is, is six seven ish, right. and, and 
would you call him a great athlete? Because no, I don't see no, a great athleticism. No, Do you? No. no. Okay, so he's carved out a great niche for himself. He's done unbelievable in his career, but he's delusional if he thinks he's a top 20 defender all the time. Is is he an imposing physical specimen to you at all? No. Is he a shot blocker? No. I'm trying to figure out, I'm looking at this list, I'm trying to figure out who could he stop. (laughs) Other than Dennis Robin, who's not going to shoot the ball, who he going to take say, I got him one-on-one, I got him. You don't worry about him. All these other guys that I mentioned, Skip, could take somebody and say, okay, what you normally get, that's not happening today. Of all the players on this list, who is he guarding and said, you know what, Elijah Wan, you're not getting them numbers. Okay, David on, on your list, Bruce Bowen. Okay. That'd be the one. <laughs> Seriously, I, it, I didn't Brody put him Tony on mine. Al- Bruce Bowen and Tony Allen. That's what I but said. Yeah, he could take Tony Allen right I, out of the game because yeah. Tony doesn't even shoot it. So but is, is he going to guard Duncan or Kevin Garnett? No. You gotta love the confidence, but I do. I feel. I feel like he says it. I'm the best defender to ever play the game. Then, oh, 100 percent. Oh yeah, I view it differently. Oh yeah, I'm the best. I say my like. He had to convince himself as he was saying it out loud. I play with my mind. No mercy.